Hey guys, Fat Daddy. I'm gonna do an update on the bee trailer. All right, I got the solar out. Got everything going. Got some bees in here. Let's check it out. It's kind of pissy today because it's hot, so gotta watch out. And I'm coming here. You see in the trailer it's kind of warm. So they're actually balling up there on the outside by the entrance. Uh, look at it. I got some some bee activity there. Let's go around the other side. Then I'll go inside and show you inside. So on the other side. You see they're getting getting anxious. Let's go inside. Take a look inside. Look at that though. That, uh, that's beautiful. Let's take a look inside. Alright. Let's see if I get in here without getting stung. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're in the trailer. Solar panels charging just fine. Let's plug some lights in. I'll show you with the lights now. I got the lights working finally. Find the switch. There we go. All right, what do you think of the lights? I put up some rope lights. So this box, this box, and that box, you can see the frames inside there. See them right in here? There's bees in these boxes. There's bees in this whole top row right here. And then there's bees in this first part of this row here. So one, two, three, and four. Then there's bees in this whole top row up here. All the way down to there. And then there's bees in these four here. So we've got, uh, I think, 40, 40 uh, boxes full in here. And it's a little warm. Here's the, I remember I was telling you we're going to put in a, there's the mobile hotspot. Runs off the inverter right there. Uh, that mobile hotspot gives me internet access, and that internet access hooks to this, it's what we call a temp stick. That monitors the temperature and humidity in this trailer, and then it wirelessly hooks to that, and that shoots up to the internet and uh, downloads all the uh, temperature and, and uh, humidity data that I need to find out what's going on with this. Um, here's the heater, the propane, um, and my power inverter, 12 volt power block, uh, and then my power inverter. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the lights to save some time, uh, save some energy I should say, and, uh, <clears throat> and then what we'll do is <clears throat> we just leave that plugged in and that powers my uh, my uh, wireless uh, hotspot. So it's probably 100 degrees in here, 95 degrees, 99 degrees. I'm waiting for a temperature reading, but get back outside again. There we go. There's the bees. That's what it's all about, guys. Um, all right. Here's the tractor. I just bought this nice, nice little Kubota. Let me go over here to the hives. And I'm starting to break the equipment down for the fall. You can see that. Um, I still have to break this hive, uh, the red one right there, right there, this one, and this one. I have to break down. So there's still three or four hives I have to break. And those will, I'm deciding whether I'm going to make, I think I might put this hive and that red hive out over the winter and let them overwinter out here. I'm not sure. I hate to put all my eggs in one basket on the trailer when I haven't tried it yet, but no telling what I'll do. But there's one last look at the trailer. Just the tractor. One last look on the trailer. Boy, she is, uh, is something to see. I just can imagine with this thing completely full right now, like I said, this row is full. This one, this one, and this one are full. And then this one, this one, this one, and this one are full. 
So it's got about, and the same on the other side. Well, again, without, uh, without this one on the other side. Um, so it's about a third full. And I can just imagine what this thing all the way full is going to be something to see with the bees coming and going out of it. But all right, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. All right, I'll uh, I'll do another update partway through the winter. All right, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.